Q103, Albany's Rock Station. What's up? It is Candice, and I am very pleased to be joined this afternoon backstage at the Saratoga Performing Arts Center with Zach from Shinedown. What's up, Hi, Zach? how are you? Say hello to the Capital Region. Hello, Capital Region. We're hoping to see you all out here in just a few. So we're super excited tonight because you guys are in town for a couple of reasons. First, you play this amazing show yes. with us, and Godsmack, how has the tour been going so far? It's going really well. I think it's probably, I mean, from what I've seen, it's probably one of the biggest rock tours of the summer. I mean, it's every show has been packed and it's uh, a lot of people out having fun and both you know it's fun to tour with band that you get along with and For you sure. know we get up I get up and do a song with Godsmack every night so it's it's awesome. a lot of fun yeah how did you guys decide to go out on the road together this time around um we this is the third tour we've done together we did a tour in 06 we did Uproar in 2012 and then this one it just seemed like make it, it seemed to make sense both bands were coming out with albums around the same time we're both fans of each other's music we actually both like each other personally you know we get along with those guys like so the backstage area is kind of fun and loose and and it just felt like a good bill for people you know they're obviously heavier than we are so you know uh somebody said the other day that uh it's a couple show the girls come to see shine down and the guys go to see cats do you really think they're heavier though <laughs> you guys like have a yeah, ton of solid songs that just we got a lot of ballads though you do but like i mean i especially with the new album by the way congratulations yeah, attention you. attention uh, out and available everywhere now if you don't have it you should probably go, get go it. pick it up uh but it is just solid and keeps you moving from beginning to end there's Thank not you. like you know your heart's racing and your foot's pumping and you just yeah. want to get out there and move how do you guys keep that like adrenaline and energy up uh not only night after night when you're on the tour but like ev album after album uh we work out every day <laughs> uh, I mean, like, yeah, it's just, you know, we're excited. It's an excited time to be in Shinedown. You know, it's, we, we're, we, we think we made the best record we've ever made. And I don't think we've said, you know, I don't know if we've said that about other records. I think we've said, you know, we're really proud of this record now. But, like, I think this is right up there with, you know, our, our benchmark publicly to the public, I guess, would be Sound of Madness because it was the biggest record right. we ever had. But I think this record's beyond that record i think it's a, i think this record has songs on it that that touch areas of, of subject matter that no one's touched before and i think that you know it reaches out to a lot of people going through a lot of things and i, I just think that having eric produce the record in-house was another big deal because when sure. people hear you know oh yeah they're going to produce it themselves like it's horribly frightening yeah, you know. well, I mean, this album is super unique because it's all you. The The subject matter is from experiences that you guys have had, obviously. Yeah. Eric produced the entire album. Did you feel like going into making this one, you guys had a kind of different mindset? Or it just kind of... I think it always kind of starts the same. I think we, you know, I don't think we go in and go, we're going to make a concept record, like what ended up happening. Right. I think that we started writing like we always do, and we had some songs, and then Get Up happened. And when Get Up happened... We obviously knew it was a song about Eric, you know, right. when Brent wrote the lyrics. And it was one of those things where it kind of opened this floodgate of, you know, we've been personal in the past. Obviously, Sound of Madness and Amaryllis and Thrasher Survival were incredibly personal records. But when Get Up happened, it was like, wow, it's okay to write about our own faults and our own downfalls and our own things that we deal with. And maybe if someone else can... Benefit. relate or, yeah. or benefit or gravitate or however you want to look at it to that thing then it, we've done good you know we just want to change people's lives and i'm not trying to say that to be some big bold comment but you know uh, music's changed my life you know our music's changed my life so i think that you know when we when we make a record like this we just want it to reach somebody right and you know and, and we hope it does and we think it has you know from the feedback we've been getting especially about get up for sure. Uh, you guys just released the video for that one. Yeah. That one's uh, a little rough to watch. It's, it's hard to watch. It's a yeah. little rough to watch. It kind of pulls at your heartstrings big time. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's it was a tough woman. to film. Yeah, it was. It was I bet. It was, it was a it was a it was a rough day to film. But uh, you know, it's that video. You could take that video anywhere. You yeah. know, with with the subject matter of the song and about being about depression and 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 things that people deal with on a daily basis. But yeah, I think Bill Y did a, an, an incredible job. He's an amazing. Um, director and editor and he's i think he's going to do every video on this 
album he's done all three so far awesome. we've, we shot a fourth but it's not out yet it's not out yet yeah i was uh, watching a couple before uh, earlier today just to refresh you know yeah. uh, do you feel like like it's been said that a lot of the songs on this album kind of touch on on brent's issues in the past and as well as eric's depression do you ever feel like you have a hard time relating to such a heavy subject matter like maybe you haven't experienced it quite to that level no i mean there's a lot of the songs that are about me too <laughs> <laughs> so i mean you know i i everybody in our band has dealt with addiction or, or or something in one capacity or the other you know i developed crippling anxiety after this record was finished you know really? and never had it in my entire life and then it just came on and i i, I panic disorder and oh, i got man. diagnosed with panic disorder and things like that so you know it's something that i looked at depression as eric would have it and he would wake up and just be very down about things and you know i'm like well, you know we're playing to twenty thousand people tonight well, if you're sad just be happy and that was my ignorance to right. it you know I, I was pure ignorance of going well you know because that's that's the outside looking in when they look at people like chester when they look at people like chris when they look at people you know and they go okay well you guys you guys have all this stuff you have all this money you have all these things why aren't you just happy and it's like it it goes to show you how deep this thing really goes and then you know things like panic attacks and panic disorder and anxiety i looked at that like that's stupid right. you know and then it happens to you and you go you know when you when you take three trips to the er because you think you're dying right. and it turns out you just have panic disorder you know it's 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 all these things are you know relative to the time and and, and i think it's now's the time for people to talk about it i love that people are coming and talking about, about depression and about you know i'm a big sports guy so kevin love wrote this huge article about anxiety he left a game one time just ran to the back because he had an anxiety attack you know it's like these things people need to talk about because young kids need to know that it's okay to talk about them and that it's safe to talk about them. and you don't have to be embarrassed to come out about these things right so when you're talking about and dealing with such heavy issues on a, a daily basis on a nightly basis when you're doing shows what kind of stuff do you guys do to kind of unwind and relax have a little fun this is going to be the most diva thing i've ever said in any of i get a massage every day every day yeah i mean if i could get a massage every day i'd be down uh other than that we we like to hang out together the four of us we work out together every day um, not today, because usually out of days off, two of us will work out at the hotel and two of us will work out when they get here. So I worked out at the hotel today, but we work out together every day. We eat together every day. You know, we, we hang together. Um, you know, uh, Barry likes to shoot bows, you know, um, I, I, I will go float. Have you ever heard of floating? Yes. I did a lot so, of that over the weekend. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do some floating and, uh, and things like that. And it's fun. Like I, to me, like the whole sensory deprivation thing is right. really cool. So um, you guys did a Reddit AMA uh, a little while ago, mm -hmm. um, and I actually, you just mentioned Barry likes to float uh, or likes to go bowing. He said he does um, a little home brewing. Yeah. Have you, got, you know, a lot of bands nowadays are teaming up with breweries yeah. to come out with a band name brew. Is that something yeah. that you guys have ever toyed with? Yeah, we definitely do that. I think Barry's, a, Barry's such a beer connoisseur, and I truly mean that. Like, oh, no, not like there's guys who just like to drink beer, and like, no, Barry, like, we get probably three cases of local beer every day Sweet. and bring it on the bus. And only Barry's the only one in the band who drinks. Yeah. <laughs> no one else drinks. So Barry's a beer guy. You know, he's, he really like, he has a book, the world of beer book. And so like when we go to this, like Albany today, he'll be like, uh, get this one, this one, and he'll get like local breweries and it's fun, you know? So I, I think that would be something that we would do. We love, interesting marketing things you know we we've always been a big fan of that we just teamed up with waffle house to do some stuff just because we thought it was super fun and you know and and they put they put Should all the waffle? no that'd be great though oh i don't know what would be in a shine down waffle actually but they're playing get up on the on the jukeboxes in waffle house which we think is, uh, is really awesome. cool so yeah you know, I, what I love about Get Up is it's kind of a, it tells you to like keep moving forward. Yeah. You know, it gives you a, a message, like something to do when you're feeling that down as opposed to like, oh, a lot of people have been kind of being like, this is it, I'm done. And instead of feeling that, it gives them something to do, something to look forward to, you know, something to strive for. Um, do you feel that you guys have to talk yourself into doing that on a regular basis? Oh, yeah, all the time. I mean, you know, you, you have to, for me, you know, like, getting out of bed every day some days is that you know i miss my family i miss my kids I you know and it's you know but it's the same for eric and the same for brent and the same for barry you know i i'm the one in the band that i don't want to work out any day 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I, I got to do it. So I, I'll, you know, I'll have days where I'll just be sitting in the in the dressing room and bro, be like, "Come on, let's go." And I'm like, "All right." And I get up and get dressed, and then you do it, and you feel a hundred times better, you know. And it's about anything in life. It's about my anxiety. It's about Eric's depression. It's about Brent's addiction. It's about you know whatever. It's a you know, it's one of those songs that it's almost like we hated talking about what it was about because we like people to take away from it what, what you want, want yeah. you know because you don't want to you never want to pull the curtain back too far but i think with that song it was important to say this is about depression or it's about anything you want it to be it's about anything that holds you down on a daily basis and i think for us like you know those things happen out here and 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 no one's superhuman out here it doesn't right. matter how much money you have how much success you have how many records you've sold or anything like that you're at the end of the day when all those people are gone and they're back in their cars and they're at home and they just saw a great show, you're just left alone with yourself and yeah. you have to be happy with yourself and you have to, you have to learn those things for yourself. And I think that's, that was the importance of the song. So you guys, uh, this whole album has had a told a story. Um, like in, you guys did a concept mm -hmm. album. Uh, how are you incorporating these songs into your live show? Like, is it hard to pick which pieces you want to play or? Yeah, it is in a way. So like we, this tour started out with like four new songs and I think we're now at two or three. Like mm -hmm. we, we were playing Black Soul for a minute. We were playing, uh, we played Brilliant the first couple shows and then it's like you're just trying to figure out kind of what works. Now we're doing Get Up for sure and we're doing Devil for sure and then sometimes we'll change it up in the night. So the two singles. We're doing. I mean, I like the whole album. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's one you can listen to from beginning to end over and I, over again, and you learn something new every Thank time you very you much. I think when you're on a headline tour, you can do more of that stuff. When you're on a co-headline tour and it's a mixed bag of fans, you know, right. I think I think I think this tour is good because it's like I think you've got, you know, half the people who who really like both bands, and you got some people who are who are there for Godsmack, and you got some people who are there for Shine Down. So you don't want to kind of wear out the Godsmack fans with new songs, you know. Yeah, so I, hear that. I and and the same with Godsmack. They don't they I think they're doing three three new ones too. Yeah, uh, somebody had said I read an article somebody was saying that you guys do you guys feel like you're competing with uh your both your albums being out about the same time and kind of climbing up the charts? No. No. Good. No. Good. You shouldn't. I I I you know, I think it's good for rock music that both of us had good first weeks and, and that the, the albums are doing good uh, Bulletproof went number one Devil was number one for like eight weeks or something so speaking of number ones so a while back uh, Three Days Grace had tied with Van Halen yeah before that now we're Monster now Runner. we're now we're tied I now yeah it's a race this is like gonna this album might break it you're gonna proceed Van Halen who held that record for like 20 years is yeah. that and it's crazy like, to it's you? it's like who's Van Halen you right. know? <laughs> <laughs> no I'm you know it's it's listen. I don't think Van Halen's making any more records. So listen, yeah. they're gonna have to come back for it if they want to get this spot back, Your which move. we should. <laughs> oh uh, no, I um no, I you know it's those are things that you appreciate when they're right in front of you, but I I think you try not to think about because right. the the weight of it is is a little intense when yeah. you actually start to think about it. Like the fact that like you know between all the songs in different formats you know we've had technically had i think 24 number ones or something but but on the billboard on that billboard chart it's 13 we're 13 yeah. now mm -hmm. and so the next one if we get if we get another one we we'll we'll we we hold the most number ones of all time in history of rock and roll that's awesome so make get up number 1 uh, you should go download it now. Go buy the single and the album while you're at it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Zach, thank you so much. We're super excited Thanks for, for the me. show tonight. Thank you I for stopping by. Uh, come out if you are not on your way down yet. You know there are tickets available at the gate, so stop on by, get them, come for the rock show. <laughs> <laughs>